Now, I don't know why any of you are searching for this, but for those of you that have decided you hate yourself and your friends, I'm here to show you how to make an RL craft server. And when I say hate yourself, I mean this is the worst mod pack you could possibly play, and I don't know why you're doing it. First, you want to open up your Curse Forge. You want to go to Minecraft and then browse mod packs. If you go to Featured, you'll probably see it at the top. You can sort by popularity, or you can just type search RL craft. You're going to find it right here. You're going to click here. You're going to hit download server pack. It's going to take you into your whatever web browser you use and it's going to download a zip file. While that's doing that, you're going to hit install. Make sure your friends go onto CurseForge and hit install as well, but they don't have to do any of the server stuff. They just have to do this install part. Once your download has finished for the server pack, hit show in folder. It's going to take you to your downloads folder. We're going to drag this to our desktop. Close out of this. You can hit play if you want on RL Craft, but I'm going to wait to do that. We're going to go to new folder, name it, I'm just going to name it RL Craft Server. I'm going to drag this into it. I'm going to right click, hit extract all, extract. We can actually delete the old zip now, so since we don't have, we don't need it, we just extracted everything. So, if we open our RL Craft Server folder, we have this RL Craft Server pack inside of it, and in here we have the server files. Now there's a couple things we need to do, including get forge. So, first off though, let's go ahead and set up the server file so that it'll be ready to run. For servers only, if you look in here, it says to change these in the server properties. So if you see a server properties file here, I can open mine. I'm not sure if you guys have the same program or not, but you might be able to right click and edit it. Um, however, you can open that file to read it. Do that. And so it says it wants the tick time to be negative one. That's good. Allow flight. Got to make sure that is true. Find flight. Allow flight is true. Okay. That's good. And command blocks is true. Alright, so our files are actually all set, so that's good too. Now what we want to do is download Forge 1.12.2. So I'm going to go into Chrome, then we're going to go to the Forge 1.12.2 download. I'm going to have it linked in the description for you. We're just going to download the latest with the installer. There's going to be an ad, just wait for the timer and then hit skip, and then it will download. Just hit keep. Once that is done, you can right click and go show in folder. Then we're going to drag this forge right down into here. We're going to close that in here, run the installer. So when we select install server, it's going to ask us where we want to install the server. So we're going to change this to our server folder that we created on the desktop, the RL craft server. So we're going to hit these three dots, go to desktop. All right, once you've selected desktop, you're going to find the RL Craft Server. Whoop. And then we're going to go RL Craft Server Pack and then install it into here where we can see the mods and everything like that. Hit open and then hit OK. All right, so now we have the Forge, blah, 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 2860 and the libraries and everything. So next what we want to do is we're actually going to rename this forge right here, not the installer, but the one that doesn't have installer in the name. Rename that to server. Alright, and then create a new text document. We're going to call that run. We're going to open it up. In a run, we're going to put a quote, another quote, then... You have to make sure you have Java 8 installed. Now, if you don't have Java 8 installed, this is not going to work, but I have a Java 8 link in the description for you. So if you do have Java 8 installed, keep following along. Right click the file icon, then File Explorer. Go to this PC, Local Disk C, Program Files, Java. And then here I have the JRE 1.8. So this is Java 8 right here. I would click that, go to bin, and then you can see the Java executable here. But what we want to do is click on this, 
we can get all this right here copy that go to here paste and then put another slash and then type java.exe now this will make sure that your server is using java 8 because minecraft 1.12 has to use java 8 in order to run and if you have the latest version of java installed and java 8 it's going to try to use the latest and not the correct version next we need to allocate the amount of ram that we want the server to have so we're going to put a minus capital x m s which is the starting amount of ram that we want the server to have so we're going to put one g for one gig of ram and then another minus or a space and then a minus x m x which is the max amount of ram we want our server to have and since this is a rl craft server you do want to have a lot of ram I would recommend if you're playing with your friends like 8 gigs of RAM you could need more if you're seeing lag. So if you only have 16 gigs of RAM in your PC, 8 is cutting it close for hosting and playing. You could see issues. So if you do need a server host guys, I do have an affordable and cheap one down below in the description and you can save 25% code DECACRAFTER. Um, but for the server I would recommend around 8 gigs of RAM. So I'm going to put for the X here, 8. G, but you can try to run it with less again it's up to you but if you're starting to see lag and stuff i would recommend getting a server host or having someone who has more ram in their system run the server dash jar server dot jar that's why we renamed the forge file uh, and then no gui and then we're going to go to file save as we're just going to say run dot bat we're just adding on to the name here and then hit save. We can close this. Close out of that. Now we have our run.bat right here. This is this is the cool part. So we're actually going to go into CurseForge and hit play now because we are going to start the server too. So we're going to run the server. All right, it created a new file called eula. We're going to change this to true. All right, once we've done that, we're gonna run the server again. Give it time to run. It's going to take a while. And if you do run into issues, you know you can reach out to me. Hit me up on Discord or comment below. I try to respond to every single comment on all my videos. You can even check yourself if you wanna see if I'm responding to people. Yeah, just shoot me a message and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. We're gonna hit allow access. Oh, it looks like the server's done. All right, so it's completely loaded up now. So we're gonna hit play on Minecraft. Now, in order for your friends to be able to join your server, you do have to port forward. Since I have Xfinity, it's going to be very different from your port forwarding if you don't have Xfinity. However, I have two port forwarding tutorials in the description for you. For those of you with Xfinity, like me, where you have the app, I have a tutorial for you to port forward. And for those of you without Xfinity who have any other kind of internet, I have a separate tutorial for you for port forwarding. So go to the description, check those out, and then come back here, and we're going to move on to the next step. For those of you who are having it crash when you're trying to run it in CurseForge, or you want to allocate more RAM to it because it's not running well, let me show you how to do that real quick. We're going to go to CurseForge and go to My Mod Packs. Then we're going to go to RLCraft. We're going to click on these dots. Go to Profile Options. So System Memory Settings, I have like... Almost 5 gigs of RAM, but this one needs a little bit more. So we're going to increase it to about 8 gigs of RAM, um, which you don't need to do that unless you're hosting a server. However, just for my single player, just for my sanity, I'm going for 8, so I don't have to worry about it crashing. Then you're good to hit play. All right, now that your game is loaded and your friends are loaded and everyone is ready to play on the server, this is how you connect. Go to multiplayer, add server for all of your friends. The server name doesn't matter, but for your friends, the address is going to be your public IP. You can find that on canyousemi.org here on the screen, or you can find a link in the description. Friends will type that into the server address. Now, if you are hosting on your PC and you're not using a server host, so you're not typing in their IP, you're going to type in localhost, or you can quite literally just put a zero, and then you can name the server whatever you want and hit done. Hit join. Once you and your friends are done torturing yourself by playing whatever the hell this is, head over to my channel so you can play a mod bag that doesn't suck.